Vivana Lexus. Hello? Yes, hello, my friend. Hello, hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to have this conversation. I it's want to thank you. To meet you. I want to thank you for helping our country in Kiev. And Spain and Madrid are doing a lot for us. I want, I want to know how the refugee situation in, in Madrid now. Are there many of them left? Yeah, in, in Madrid, uh, approximately, we have uh, 10,000 uh, Ukrainian people before the war. And currently, we have additionally 2,000 people, 2,500 people. We have, we expect that they come back in a short time to crime because they were, the war is going to finish thanks to your national government, especially to the president Zelensky. Can Madrid authorities take away um, real estate from Russians and give it to Ukrainians for free to help them to live there? We have activated all our resources to uh, compl complete, complete, to, to carry out all the resolutions of the European Union about the, about the Russia here in Spain and in Madrid, but uh, we have uh, no identified more uh, house from Russian people here in the city. No, oh, I mean, what, what is your opinion? My opinion about the measures, re uh, about the, uh, the measures uh, regarding to, to the Russian people here in Spain. I think that is necessary to punish the Russian bastards here in Spain and in Madrid, and we are making all the efforts in order to achieve it with the national and regional government, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we I have mean, a, a very strong relationship with the embassy, with the Ukrainian embassy here in Madrid. Two days ago, we organized a concert with them, and it was very successful. More than 10,000 people attend the concert, and the feeling of the people of Madrid is with Ukraine, and of course, with the punishment to the Russian interest here in the city. I want to say that a lot of men uh, uh, went to West instead of fighting for Ukraine. And that's yeah. why there are not enough soldiers in the front. A thousand people die by, day by day. Therefore, we are creating a program for the return of refugees. Yeah. They should not rest on the beaches of Spain. Their yeah. test now is to die on the battlefield or win this war. Yeah. Can Madrid help us with the deportation of Ukrainian men to Ukraine? Of course, I think it's not a problem for Madrid to support the departure of Ukrainian people to fight there. I think, I think, and I share with you that it's necessary to provide more soldiers to fight against Russia, of course. And uh, Madrid is in conditions to provide, if it's if it would be necessary, transport to depart people to Ukraine in this moment. By the way, your prices have increased due the, to your EU sanctions against Russia. Are some Spanish uh, people outraged because of prices for yeah. oil, for gas? What yeah. Is... No. yeah, we are, we are worried here about the increase of the prices, about oil, about energy. It's a problem for Spain, including the gas. It's a problem, I think, for the whole Europe in this moment. But it's a problem that we, uh, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, we should share with the situation of Ukraine. And of course, we have to search another ways to provide gas, oil, energy, electricity to the people here in Spain, because it's not fair for me in this moment to buy those resources to Russia. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that our independence is more uh, important than just the prices. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a problem because the 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 prices here in Spain has increased a lot. We the, the increasing of the prices. There is no present in twenty and thirty years here in Spain. The economic situation. We have a a huge crisis, a huge economic crisis, uh, because the pandemic here 
in Spain and it's not an easy situation for us, but I insist for me it's more important to support Ukraine than to buy Russia the natural resources. Mm -hmm. And I know you will cross the NATO summit next week. Our activists want to arrange a performance and attack uh, members of the NATO delegation snaked and smeared with faces. Mm -hmm. So they want to show that Ukraine is ready to become a member of NATO. This yeah. Action, this is this action is being prepared by the ambassador of Ukraine in Madrid. I yeah. hope you won't be too often that in, if this performance takes place. Yeah, it, I, I think it's two ways for Ukraine for to ensure the future of Ukraine. The first one probably it's to ensure the ingress, the access to the European Union, like a, a member of the European Union, and probably the second one is to be being a member of NATO for us. No, I mean, I mean, the action. Did you understand what will be uh, in this meeting? So our activists, yeah, uh, they, they will be naked. So without uh, any, without any wear and uh, yeah, and they were smeared with faces. And so, the activists from Ukraine are, are going to have a performance naked. Yes. Yeah. So they will show that our country is naked now. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I don't know anything about it. Uh, really, I don't okay. know anything about it. But I, I could speak with the embassy. I mean, if if, if you if you if you understand that, understand. If you understand that it's best for your cows, I don't have any problem to speak with the embassy about this performance yes our ambassador will be also naked yeah your ambassador yes your ambassador your ambassador is very very valiente yes very, but very, it will be is very brave really brave to be to to appear naked here in the city yes. of madrid yes but yeah. it's uh, our performance around the world yeah it's mm -hmm. your performance around the world yes and 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 you are going from here been naked uh, to support the performance here in Madrid? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting. I think okay. it's it's going uh, around the world, the performance. Eh? It's, because uh, our, well, our country is also naked. Yeah. Without, mo without money, without... Pro probably support. it's the best metaphor. Probably it's the best metaphor to show the people who what's happening currently in Ukraine, because I'm in yes. agreement with you, I agree with you that Ukraine is naked uh, currently, and it's very important to remind the people that the, the world follows daily in Ukraine, and we don't, and it's not, uh, it's, uh, I'm, uh, how is it, pardon me? Uh, uh, sorry, unforgivable. it's unforgivable that the people not remind that the war is in Ukraine daily. Yes, you can also join our action. I'm not sure about my physical, <laughs> but maybe it's possible. But, but for, of course, of course, uh, the action have my my support, and of course, I'm going to speak with the ambassador. I'm going to speak to, uh, with the ambassador because it's a real performance to show the people the situation of Ukraine. I I think it's going to to. So now to, to sound in the whole world. Uh, I also would like to hold the Bandera, Bandera Festival in Madrid. He's yeah. our national hero. He fought against Russia and Jews during the Second World War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh? But uh, uh, we have a, a very strong relationship with the embassy and personally with the ambassador. And I mean, you, you have the security that I'm going to speak with him about the performance, about the ways, uh, different ways to support the performance uh, from the city hall. And we also would like to make a gay festival, special yeah. Ukrainian for support, because yeah. our Azov battalion, there are a lot of gays there. So if it's possible, we would like to arrange uh, such a meeting. Yeah, we have, we have one of the greater greatest um, uh, gay festival here in Madrid in two weeks. 
uh, we call Orgullo Gay here in the city is really important because probably gather uh, one million people here in the city and it's important for us and of course for the gay community. No, I mean, a uh, gay festival of with name of Bandera. Sorry? A gay festival with name of Bandera. It's now, it's our national hero. A Bandera, icon of gay community in Ukraine. Yes. And uh, he's going to be here in Madrid in two weeks. No, he's, he's died already, but he was. He was an uh, icon of gay oh, community. Oh, was it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eh, I'm yeah. sorry. But eh? he was a fight he was fighting against Soviet Union. Yeah, it's a it's a pity. Eh? It's a pity. I'm sorry I I, I feel. Eh? Eh? But if you if you if you want, I could invite you to the uh, NATO summit or to the gay parade here in Madrid in two weeks. Okay. Eh? Perfect. It was an opportunity to... to explain the situation of Ukraine and the gay community in Ukraine. Okay, I also will come. I also will visit uh, Gay Parrot in Madrid. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, my pleasure. I know you have the writer Almudena Grandes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I uh, hate her. I hate. I hate her too. But because I I haven't read any of her books. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't read any books. Or Falmudena Grande, really, eh? But it, uh, it has been very controversial here in the city, eh? very, very controversial. But uh, I think that it's not, uh, uh, it's not for Almudena Grande, but the people on the left wing of the policy of the policy here in the city for them, it has an iconic. But I, it has been an strong controversial. But I haven't read any book of Almudena Grande. I mean, uh, the second question is: You just uh, uh, bite a ball and you got to the child. I remember. So my assistant told me, "Did you excuse before behind this boy?" Yeah, yeah. It's it has been very famous here in Madrid and in Spain. I love football. I love football. And uh, one day I I went. To inaugurate a a, a, a field, a field, and, and I throw a penalty, but the penalty not to the to the goalkeeper uh, went to a child that is very close to the goalkeeper, and it was very famous here in the in Spain. Oh, I mean uh, the scandal with masks. What is the scandal because of uh, high prices? of masks because i also bought a lot of masks with the highest prices but it was our deal but it so, was crazy the situation in march 2020 the situation it, it was crazy and especially for the city hall because the uh, government of the state and the regional government they have a uh, competence in health but they we don't have any competence it was uh, a jungle the wall, it was a jungle, and especially for us, we don't have any knowledge about the acquisition of uh, sanitary supplies in China, in Turkey, or uh, in Malaysia. We don't have don't, any experience about it. I don't believe in cold COVID, really, because I just uh, have my earnings my business so we just earned a lot yeah. on that yeah the, the, the... but you are vaccinated huh? vaccinated you are vaccinated of covid no of, of course not i don't believe it listen i bought the fucking certificate yeah you bought, you bought the certificates huh? yes of course yeah. like our president did the same like uh, president Zelensky. Yes, yeah. it's another opinion. For me, it's important to tell, to have different opinion in 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 and different in, in different matters. No, it's important mm -hmm. the diversity of opinions. And I know that you have a nickname, Carapola. Nickname. Carapola. 
Yeah, yeah. Dick face. The Why do you have this nickname? Means in Spain, in, in English, dick face. Eh? Take but idea. Why? Take idea that the opinion of my uh, my political uh, enemies. So you have a dick on your face or what? No, no. I think they speak about my noise. It's very big, and they they play with the with the measure of my nose to nickname Nick uh, Calapoya Dick Face. Ah, oh, okay. That's... You are you are very informal. Yes, I'm very a... informed about me and about Madrid. Congrats because I also have you a big a complete no, dossier but... about this city and the and the mayor. Yeah. Huh? Y yes, I am. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Have you been here once in Madrid? Of course, many times. Many times. But well, I hope you I remember. Hope you maybe you remember how I put my dick in your mouth. Sorry. Maybe you remember how I put your my dick in your mouth, and you become dick face no. for Apollo. Now. You uh, remember? Now, but when, when when did you come to Madrid the last time? When I put my dick in your mouth. No, I don't, I, I don't understand. Oh, that's okay. You understood last time very good. Oh, uh, sorry. Eh? 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 Uh, well, uh, I'm going to talk uh, to speak with the ambassador about the performance. Okay. Eh? Okay. Okay. Good to you. He will, it's also, a pleasure. He eh? will also put the dick on your mouth. In your mouth. Yvonne Alexis.